the next advanced topic on debugging is debugging the methods of the bor objects b o r bor means business object repository so usually whenever you work on any workflow you have to have a bor object so this topic may be too too advanced for a functional guy so if it is too over overwhelming for you you may skip this and go to the next video or the next sex section where we will do the step by step debugging of a standard t code and a custom program or a t code okay so if you feel you want to know how to debug the methods of a bore object in case you are working in on on any workflow development then you may continue so in order to see the bore object you have to go to t code sw01 all right so there you will see the bore objects you need to um, so this bore objects are used in workflows and also used in dappies so give the bore object name and hit display so so usually whenever you are working on a workflow you have to create a object say uh, it might be if it is a custom object it starts with z or y and if it is a standard it can be any name all right so once you give the bore object name and hit display so you will get a list of methods it will show so now you want to uh, debug one particular method so let's see put the cursor on the method and click the test button so it's just like normal program you click put the you run the program by executing f8 or execute button similarly you have a test button in the screen we'll show you in in a while how that looks in actual sap system so once you uh, hit the test button the it will ask for the keys for the bore objects so if it is a metal master bore object it might ask you for the metal number uh, if it is a invoice object it might ask you for the invoice number or if it is a custom one it might ask you for some keys it might be one field or it might be combination of multiple fields so in the subsequent video i'll show you a custom bore object where we have three key fields so we have to provide that value it's like input of the program okay then it will list you all the methods then you select the method which you want and click the execute bot button and then there are two options whether you want to execute directly or execute in the debugging mode so we'll choose the debugging mode let's see in the next video how we can do this in our sap system